Hey LaToya, my name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing, a marketing company in the United States. And you had spoken with my husband and partner Rob on Facebook. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will try to keep this short, but if by the end of this video, you can tell that that's certainly something that we specialize in and that's something that you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope that you're able to take these tips that I'll give you today and put them into action. The only thing that I do ask, if you can, is just to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful for you. But we'll go ahead and get started. The three things that we'll cover today are going to be content on your website, citations, and backlinks. So I have your website up here. I love this. Love it. And let's see here. So anything that you can see here on your website will be considered content to Google. That does also include the pictures, uh, what your pictures are saved as, and what's behind the pictures is also considered content. So Google typically likes to see about 1,500 words on your homepage. It certainly looks like you have that, um, which is awesome. Your site is super nice. I love it. It's very user friendly. It's very organized. It's a great site. So great job with that. Um, you would just want to make sure that you are adding in the keywords and key phrases that people are going to be looking for when they are searching for your services. And that will certainly help you to rank on Google. But that is all that I have for you. As far as your site goes, we'll move on to citations. And I pulled up just a quick Google search here of cleaning services in your area. And the first thing that you'll see is this section here. This is called the map pack. And citations have a lot to do with that section. So a citation is basically um, anywhere that your business name, address, and phone number can be listed in various directories throughout the web. And by directories, I just mean things like Facebook, which you have, which is great. Um, things like LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, and really anywhere else that will allow business owners to add in their business details and services. Um, so you would wanna go out and see where your competition is being listed within those directories. And you would want to grab those listings for yourself. But you also do not just wanna stop there. So wherever your competition is listed, grab those, and then you would want to add on to those. So you would want to double or even triple where your business is listed. That is going to have it to where you are completely dominating them in that space, but it will also help you to rank high here in the maps too. So now that we've covered the content and the citations, we'll move on to backlinks. And they have a lot to do with this section down here. This is called the organic section. And the way that backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your website and is pushing power to your site, but it's also bringing traffic to your website as well. So not all backlinks are created equal though. Uh, for example, say that you did some work with someone who owns an ice cream shop and they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to your site. But of course, that link is going to be all about ice cream. So it's really not going to be very helpful for you. Um, you would want to get links from other um, cleaning services that basically send a signal to Google saying that that is the industry that you are in and that you are trustworthy. That's going to be more unique, but it's also going to be a lot more powerful in Google's eyes because it's relevant to your industry. And I pulled up one of the tools that I use here um, and I pulled up your website and it's showing that you have seven referring domains, which is giving you 13 backlinks, getting you found for 45 keywords, and driving about 12 people to your site each month. And I also pulled up one of the top competitors that is ranking really high on Google. Um, and they have 224 referring domains, giving them over 1,000 backlinks, getting them found for over 5,000 keywords, and that's driving a little over 1,000 people to their site each month. 
and let's just pull up the keywords that they are using here just so we can kind of see. Um, we're looking for buyer intent keywords. So anything that someone is going to think to type into Google when they're looking for the services that you offer. Um, and the best way to do it would be to um, put your industry and then put the area that you're trying to target. So let's see what they have here. So they have a ton of keywords. So there's going to be a lot to go through here. Let's see here. So it looks like they're using things like how to clean certain things, how to wash certain things. Let's see, they're ranking for their business name, which is not surprising there either. Let's see here. And I won't bore you and go through all of these, but I just want to kind of give you an idea of what to be looking for. So, I mean, even things like coffee stains on stainless steel, they are ranking for. Um, but here's here's one, a house cleaners Vancouver. So that's the industry and then kind of the area that they're trying to target. Those are the types of things that you would want. Um, and then Vancouver cleaning services. So you can kind of use the same um, a variation of the same phrase or word and it will count as a whole new keyword. Um, so that just gives you an idea of the types of things you would want to put um, within your content and that will certainly uh, help to boost you uh, on the pages in Google. But essentially, in order to beat out your competition, you really just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places that they are. And again, you don't just want to stop there. You want to get what they're, whatever it is that they have or that they're doing, and then you want to you know, go a step or two or even three further. And that's going to help you to get on that first page of Google, but it's also going to make it to where your competition can't even keep up with you. So that is all that I have for you today, LaToya. I hope that this video was helpful. If you'd like to know more about Duff Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please do contact us because we would love to talk to you about that. But again, thank you for your time and you have a great rest of your day.